What is up YouTube? It's your boy GamerZone88. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install scripthookv.net. The first thing you want to need is WinRAR. Um, the link will be in the description below. Go to download. Um, it's going to give you two options, 32-bit or 64. If you don't know what, um, what bit you have, just go to the bottom left, right click, go to system. And then it should show you 32 or 64. I have 64, so I'm gonna click this one right here. Then just click download, and then it should start downloading. Once that's done downloading, um, you're gonna need to actually install it onto your computer. So it should look something like this. Just double click it and just follow the steps. If it doesn't look like these icons like this, like these three little icons, then you did something wrong. But after you're done, install it, restart your computer, and just see if you see these icons. And then the next step you need to do is go to this website right here. Make sure it's the latest version, and then click right here. The reason why you need this is so you can mod GTA. Like if you want to play LSPDFR, you will need this to get that to work. That's how that works. You're going to need to download it. After you're done downloading, you're going to create a folder. And then you're going to find your script v.net. Right click, rename, copy. Go to this folder right here. Rename, paste. That's it. And then the next step you're going to do is actually extract the file onto this folder right here. So you're going to go to the desktop and then it should be this one right here. And then you should see this fold file or folder or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I already got one right here. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then you're going to have to locate your GTA. Mine is in my SSD. So yours might be on the local disk C. So if it is. All you got to do is go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. You're going to see one folder of GTA. Make sure you copy and paste it, All right? And then you're going to open up your GTA, and then you're going to open up the script, scripthookv.net. You're going to need these three files right here. You can either drag it or copy and paste it. It don't matter how you do it. But like I said, you do need this to play mods if you don't have this it will not work so with that being said that's pretty much it if you need help please let me know i don't mind helping you out so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video and i'll see you guys on the next one